I need to set up the new source meter on the bench. Let's get to work. So what is this? Launch control? No. The, uh, in the previous video I had mentioned the interlock on the back of these Keepley source meters. And this prevents the user accessing, uh, setting a voltage above something like 42 volts or thereabouts uh, from the front panel unless the interlock is uh, in place. And the Keithley box includes a little connector that you can wire up to. And I finally found a use for these little missile type switches that uh, have become popular, I think, in uh, headlighting and such in uh, pickups and things like that. So let's put them to a new use. You can see in this diagram that the ground, the signal, and a handy current limited 6 volt connection. Hmm, perfect for lighting these switches. Let's see. There we go. The red is the high voltage two, uh, 2450. The yellow switch is for the uh, 100 volt 2460 unit. So there we go, perfect. The uh, six volt output of the uh, switch or of the interlock uh, provides plenty of power to light these LEDs pretty brightly. I like that. All right, so what's going on in here? Just a couple of uh, basic vehicle automotive lighting switches. Uh, standard 12 volt LED uh, in this is what these are designed for as a standard you know, uh, automotive 12 or 13.8 volts. Right down here on this connection. A uh, ground up here. And then here's the uh, signal wire that would normally go out to uh, off-road lights or something like that. Now I just used crimp connects because that's one of the easiest, uh, the, you know, spade connects are just one of the easiest ways to connect to these. And that's it. Then these uh, run down to the connector. The pin, the, uh, pin next to the tab is going to be the positive. The signal is going to be the center wire and then uh, the ground is at the bottom and that's all there is to it and it's a simple uh, slide it in slide the wires in and then uh, squeeze it down and this is an insulation displacement connector an IDC that's it job done so I need to uh, put in another LAN cable on the back of this table before I uh, roll it back to hook up the new unit so I thought I'd test the cable before doing that and on one of these little five dollar uh, testers this is probably five or six dollars at Micro Center um, on the you know kinda in the checkout line everything looks good one to one etc etc so that's good that's what we need there's also the uh, TSP link cable and it has RJ45s. Let's take a look at how that pins out. Now I had read that this was a Cat5. These are connected with uh, the TSP links are a Cat5 crossover. So what's that look like? Oh wait. We'll go back and check that. So here we start out with 1 crossed over to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 1, and 6 to 2. So they're crossing over the 1, 3 and the 2, 6 pairs, which would be, as I recall, a standard Cat5 crossover. So that's good to know. Uh, now, let's get it all put back in place, uh, connected, and wheel that big bench back into place.
Well, the bench is back in place. The Keithley meters are stacked together conveniently for some upcoming tests. And the safety switches uh, worked out great for the high voltage interlocks on the source meters. Stay tuned for more.